Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you watched my last video, which was posted a little under five hours ago, you will know that I am doing a giveaway. This is an extra video that I accidentally recorded, but here we are. And I am gonna be doing a very simple design on my lovely hairstylist. I really wanted to share this video with you guys because it is super, super cute and very easy to achieve. That being said, the winner to my last video's giveaway is... Congratulations, make sure you message me and I will get that sent out right to you. I'm gonna be doing a big box full of tons of nail supplies that I hope you really, really love. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now let's get right into it. Getting right into today's video, we are starting off by removing her current design along with the acrylic. We're gonna be switching from this really pretty nude we used in her last set, and we're gonna be changing it out for a very light pale pink. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that using the Kiara Sky Rechargeable E-File. I have it at a speed of about 10 to 11,000 RPMs. Along with that, I'm using their five in one bit in the medium grit. I believe this one is the unicorn colored one, but they have tons of different colors to choose from. So I'm just taking my e-file and very carefully filing that acrylic down. The process of this is basically going to be filing it all the way off if I can and then replacing it with a new color. So I am doing this extremely carefully. The key to a successful backfill is really just moving across the nail without staying in one spot for too long. You want to avoid heat spikes and that's how you're going to avoid it. Not only that, but it kind of gives it a quicker filing process if you continue to move across the nail very quickly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing that on another nail and then we're gonna be switching over to the prep on the natural nail so that the process does not take forever. I'm just gonna be sharing with it on a few nails. And I feel like backfills are always really interesting because you get to see all the different colors that you've used in the past. So you get colors from months ago that end up showing through as they're growing out and as you're changing out the colors. So you get a little bit of green under there. I have some brown from the fall time. And then there's red on the other one as well from Christmas time. So it's always really, really interesting. I am taking my hand file. This one is the Tammy Taylor Peel and Stick file. You can find it linked in my Amazon store front and basically what I'm doing now is filing the sides reshaping the nails essentially and then all in one go I'm gonna go over top of the surface again to try to get a little bit more of that color off I feel like with my hand file I have better control of it and I can really gauge how much pressure I'm doing with my hand file versus the e-file so once I get really close to that natural nail that's what I like to use instead of continue to file it with my e-file so I'm going to go ahead and finish that off then we're going to be prepping that natural nail
Once I'm done with that, we're gonna go in with our e-file once again. This time we're gonna be using the Madro bit from Profiles Backstage. Along with that, I'm using their sanding band as well. These ones are medium grit, but they are super fine. So it is okay to use medium grit on the natural nail, even the coarse ones, as long as you are being extra careful. Now, of course, if you are a beginner nail tech, I definitely suggest use a fine one until you get comfortable using it. Now I'm taking this and again, I'm gonna go in another layer of filing off. Now, now what this is going to do is help prep that natural nail by buffing off the shine while kind of going in and removing a little bit more of that acrylic. And I'm just doing this again very, very carefully and trying to stay just on that acrylic that is on the nail and avoid the natural nail if I'm trying to shave it down a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and finish that off. Then we're going to be prepping those cuticles. Now for our cuticle work, I like to use a needle bit. I'm going in with this one from Profiles Backstage. I am very, very carefully going around that cuticle area. I have my speed of my e-file at 4,000 RPMs, which is typically what I use for my prep. And I'm just going in very, very carefully and filing around that cuticle to remove any excess dead skin that I may have missed. Now with my cuticle ball bit, I now moved my speed up to 5,000 RPMs and I'm just going very carefully around that cuticle area, kind of buffing off that dead skin instead of having to nip any anything off. Very quickly, we're going to be cleaning the surface of the nail with a Kiara Sky Lint Free Wipe and some Young Nail Swipe. If you don't have Young Nail Swipe, go ahead and use some alcohol. I'm going to go ahead and prep the nail with the Triple X Bond from Not Polish. I'm really getting that into the entire surface of the nail, kind of scrubbing it on that surface to make sure that it gets in all of that so that we do not have lifting. If you do struggle with lifting, I suggest go in with two coats of it, which I typically do just to make sure that I keep it at a minimum. For our acrylic application, I am using the Not Polish Acrylic Brush in a size 12. Along with that, I'm actually using the Profiles Backstage Monomer. And then for this lovely pink, this one is from Kiara Sky. I am actually going to be applying this on there as thin as possible because these are natural nails. I like to lay the acrylic super thin so that it doesn't look super bulky. That being said, I know there's a little bit of acrylic from the previous set still left underneath. So I try to lay my first layer nice and thin and then I kind of assess the situation. If I see any color peeping through, then I go ahead with a small amount and cover it up. And then again, depending on how it looks, I'll either add more or leave it as it is. But I always try to lay it as thin as possible, especially when doing an acrylic overlay. So for today's set, we're actually going to be using this really pale pink on most of the nails. And then we're going to be adding an accent nail of this really pretty glitter. So again, just basic acrylic application. I'm starting off with a medium sized bead starting up at the cuticle area and then just blending it nicely downwards towards the tip, adding some thickness and coverage wherever it is needed. Always remember to tuck in those sides so that your shape does not get all messed up. And then of course I tap the tip as well so that it tucks in that shape. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more at the tip as it is a little bit on the thin side. Again, I wanna cover all that acrylic up as best as possible.
So my client did just kind of tell me to do whatever. So that is what I'm doing. <laughs> I figured I would add a little bit of glitter in there since we haven't done glitter on her nails in a while and I know she likes it. So I'm using, this is actually a dip powder from Kiara Sky, but I always kind of alternate between dip powders and acrylics and they all work fine in my opinion. I don't notice any lifting, so it works fine as far as the formula goes. You can tell that it's nice and chalky and it does marbleize a lot but i'm using it as base for this lovely glitter because i wanted it to pick up the grayish tones and really make the glitter stand out i felt like putting that as the base was going to bring that gray into it and i really like for whatever reason i love pink with gray and i wanted to incorporate it without actually doing a gray nail so we're going to go ahead and layer on that loose glitter. This one is also from Kiara Sky, and I'm just lathering it on there on top of the wet acrylic. You can always use clear acrylic as your base or even the pink one that you're using. But like I said, I wanted that gray to really come through that glitter. So now I'm going to be going in and encapsulating these nails. Just still trying to keep it nice and thin, but I want to protect that acrylic and add a little bit more strength to that nail. And then of course glitter you always want to encapsulate. It is crucial. You need to. It's not an option. You absolutely need to encapsulate these because if you go in directly to file, it's just going to come off and you need the structure on the nail and the strength with the acrylic. I'm going to go ahead and finish that process off, then we're going to be filing. Now once everything is nice and dry, I'm going to go in with my e-file. I have now moved it up back to 10 to 11,000 RPMs and I'm using my medium grit rose gold 5-in-1 bit from Kiara Sky. And I'm just going to go ahead and gently file around that cuticle area and then across the entire nail to smooth everything out very nicely. Now taking my hand file once again, we're going to be reshaping these nails just to ensure that we didn't get any acrylic underneath or mess up that shape. You always want to finish file with your hand file. So I'm going to go in on the sides and then of course I'm going to be flipping the hand around to look at the nails from the client's perspective and really square out those nails. Unfortunately, I cannot add that in the footage as my camera angle doesn't allow it, but you guys get the gist of it from my previous videos. Now taking the Kiara Sky Buffer, I'm going on the surface of the nail and then very carefully underneath. My client does always request me to buff the underneath of the nail because she doesn't like the sharpness of it. However, I do it very, very lightly and then I make sure that it is buffed out and it's not sharp, but I don't mess up that shape. I do not like when somebody asks me to round out the corners, so I always suggest to kind of just go and buff it and see how that works because it's not going to file it enough to distort the shape and i know we all like a really crisp shape so i'm just going under there very light handedly and very carefully and that seems to work and she does not complain anymore so that's always a plus now i'm just cleaning the surface of the nail with the lint free wipe and young nail swipe and just going in very thoroughly making sure that it is all clean and dust free
Now for our nail art, I'm using the frosting gel paint and the color white from Profiles Backstage. Of course, they're my go-to. Along with that, I'm using my go-to nail art brush from a cart linked in my Amazon storefront. And we are going to be drawing some tiny little lips. My client requested pink. And then she said, do whatever you want Valentine related. So I figured we would go very subtle. I added in that glitter. We're going to be using white for the nail art. Again, like I said, to make it very subtle. So we're drawing the top lip very carefully and then the bottom one. And you'll be able to see the exact process of how I drew it. And I feel like they turned out super, super cute. I'm also adding in some different sized hearts around those lips. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that. We're gonna be curing it in the light for a full minute to ensure all of that gel paint is nice and cured. Once we are out of the light, I'm going in with my top coat. This is the Young Nails Stain Resistant Top Coat. It is a must. I use it on her all the time unless I run out or I forget. But for the most part, she's really good at reminding me. This one is a go-to for my hairstylist clients. For anybody that is really prone to staining their nails, trust me, use this. It is a game changer and it absolutely works really, really well. So we're gonna go in with a thin layer of that and then we're gonna be placing that in the light for a full minute. Once that top coat is nice and cured, I'm gonna go ahead and remove that tacky layer with a lint-free wipe from Kiara Sky and some Young Nail Swipe. You can also use alcohol. But I'm just gonna go ahead and fully remove that and then we're going in with our cuticle oil. I am using the Scent Goddess from Profiles Backstage. It is my go-to, it melts right into the skin without leaving a super oily cast, which I absolutely do not like and it's not cute in pictures either. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub that into her skin very nicely. And I'm also going to be checking underneath that nail to make sure that I don't need to fix anything. That basically concludes today's video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you guys. And thank you so much for showing so much love on my channel. I'll see you guys next time. This is for my